Chris here, and today we're going to be teaching you guys on how to add in a voice and radio script into your 5M server. And the radio script that we're going to be using is going to be Scully Radio V2, and the voice script that we're going to be using is going to be PMA Voice. Both of these can either be ESX, Cubicore, or standalone. I'm going to be teaching the standalone version. So, you may see this right here. I already have it downloaded and organized just for this video so that I don't have to buy it in the video. But what we're going to be needing is Scully Radio right here. And then we're going to need PMA Voice. We're going to need our TX Admin. We're also going to need our file locations. Either that be FileZilla, File Explorer, or something built in. So what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be going to Scully Development and downloading the radio and this is a $30 radio but it is very worth it and purchase it and then download it and then what we're going to need next is PMA Voice so we just go here code download zip you can open this up and then your PMA Voice is right here so we just get rid of this main, okay, and that's what you're going to be putting into your 5M server. So we can minimize that right now. Scroll down, and we will be using this, so keep this around. So minimize that of your web browser. Open up the files that you've downloaded, and then we can go to resources. Now let's make a new directory. So create a directory, then let's do bracket voice bracket okay now let's enter that dragon pma voice and scully radio 2 that's going to take a little bit to download but while that's downloading let's hop right into our server.cfg so let's open that up okay now that we're in our server.cfg let's make a little new selection right here Let's put it right above our main stuff. So I'm going to put in a little thing because I like to be neat. Okay. Now we're going to need to do ensure or start. Doesn't matter. They do the exact same thing. It's just user preference. Ensure bracket voice bracket. Now that will ensure both of Scully Radio and PMA Voice at the exact same time. So now let's press enter. We can close out of your files. Then we go to back to our web browser. Go back to the GitHub. Now we're going to be looking for voice default volume. It's currently set at 30. So we just control C this. Go to our server.cfg. Control V press space and let's say 80 now you can press enter now let's go default voice mode it's already set it to so we do not need to do that unless you want it to be a whisper or default shouting but it, I like it being default normal so we don't need to mess with that one more thing that we do need is voice use native audio. We need to make the turn fault or sorry true. So we paste that in. Type in true. Okay. And then we can either use 2D audio, 3D audio. The difference really is proximity and like echoing stuff like that. I really suggest using 3D audio. It makes your gameplay so much better. So copy use 3D audio. And then paste this in here and type that to true okay okay that's all we're going to be needing from here now we can close out of that we can hold down control press s or press file and click save now we can close out of that press yes now let's go into our resources let's go to voice let's go into scully radio 2 let's go to the config open that up and full screen this framework if you want this to be standalone type it to none if you want to do ESX put that in 
if you want to be cubicore, put that in. And then radio color. These are the different color options. Allow colors, true. Uh, disable if you don't want people to be allowed to change their radio color uh, in game. So if you just want it to be a stock color, um, just disable it. But if you want people to be able to choose, enable it, true. Uh, color command, R color. So that's what you type into chat. Uh, enable list. Set as the false if you want to disable the player list. So the player list is just a little list up in the top right that says who's in the radio. Hide list command. That's just a little command to type into chat. Show self. It shows yourself up here in chat. And now I have it as true. Enable uh, editing. And then it just disable this if you don't want people to change their call signs or their names. But I keep it true. Mic clips. Uh, it's just if you want to he hear the mic clicks themselves, make that false. Disable this if you want uh, animations to be turned off, or keep it true if you want them to still grab the shoulder mic. Use item means that they actually hold a radio, or they use uh, like the radio for like ESX or Cubicore. Um, but we're using standalone, so we're going to have this false. Use item colors. You don't really need to enable that. There's really no need. And then keybind. This is default set to you. I have it set to I because I have other things set to you like ragdoll, stuff like that. And then it just gets in the way. Uh, custom channel names, true. And then your channel names would be right here. So that's the RTO channel there. That's your EMT radio. Uh, and then the name right here. They only can be seven characters long, including the space. Ace perms will be for this is just stuff that you can set up on your own. I'm not going to go through it. Uh, if you want me to go through it, just contact me in the Discord and I can help you out with that. Other than that, we can close this out. Make sure you save it if you did edit anything. I did not, so I don't have to save it. Now we go into our TX admin, click restart, continue. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. It makes it so that more people can see this video. And also please hit that like button because it shows that this video is actually helpful. If this did not help you, no need to hit that like button. But if this did help you, please, please hit that like button. It brings me joy. Okay, now we go to our resources. Let's look up PMA voice. PMA. Sorry. PMA. PMA voice is started. Now let's go to radio. R A D I O. You can see that started. If it does not say started, press start on both of them. If that does not work, look in the files. Make sure you didn't mess with anything or forget a file. Um, if that doesn't work, you can contact me in the Discord and I can help you out with that. The Discord will be in the description. Okay, now that that's all done, let's now load into our 5M server. You'll be seeing that normal range down in the bottom right. It should be a little bit gray. That is just saying that your PMA voice is working and that your range is just normal. It's not whisper, it's not shouting, it's just in between. That's the default range. Now, let's see if your Scully radio works by pressing I or U or whatever button you guys chose. Up here is your little power button. Here's your volume up, here's your volume down. Default should be 50 right now. Now we can change our radio frequency. So, what was it, 6? 0.25 is our EMT radio correct? No, that's our LEO radio. Now right arrow switches to your name. So change your name up here. So uh, Kenny, which is my in-game last name. Press enter and it will change it. Right arrow again, that's your call sign. So my call sign for the server is BC01. And now I'm BC01. And you can press escape to get out of that. And as you can see, you hold it there. And when I talk on the radio, just by holding caps lock or whatever button you guys chose. And that's that's your own custom stuff. That's not through the actual files. Now you can see that it actually works and your radio list is up top right. Without further ado, have a safe patrol. See ya.